Hi everyone and welcome to part 2 of our Indian girl and horse and when you're watching this uh, I hope you have drawn this uh, lovely girl and, and her horse and uh, in part 1 you could see how to get started on this drawing it's easy by uh, tracking uh, the one that I have sent you in a link and you can just click on it in the in the film I will place it in this one too of course and this is my third one and in this one I have drawn the girl and the horse on uh, watercolor paper it's very thick watercolor paper so now I can actually draw uh, well draw I can paint it in and um, well you can decide to just leave it a pen and ink drawing of course or maybe make some more of them and try to color them in with uh, the colors that you prefer uh, you can make as many as you want and you can practice your watercoloring what I'm trying to do also I'm trying to get uh, the hang of it and this is a very ideal to get acquainted with uh, the watercolors so um, well I will just have you watch and I hope to inspire you so uh, please lean back and watch me try to paint <laughs> and I will be back with you in a sec well uh, when the drawing is uh, processed and further colored in so just enjoy and you will hear me in a minute Thank you. 
Well, here we are uh, at a stage that uh, you could think, okay, let's quit it. Or you can uh, even go further coloring in. And you can get in uh, really, really dark and get more of a, a paint-like look if you want. So uh, here you can see me actually uh, well, going in further. Uh, you have to be careful uh, because, well, once your uh, watercolor gets too dark, um, you might lose your drawing all, uh, all in all. But uh, should you uh, really get your painting in too dark, you can always uh, wash over it with uh, water and brighten it up a little bit if you want. But for, um, well, just for your information, I will go on further into this drawing by drawing in extra dark um, shadows. And here you can see me putting in a little bit of green as an underlayment for the horse and the, the clothes of the Indian girl. You can also decide to put over a little bit of red over the yellow sun. So it's kind of like a sunset. And um, well, that red also uh, goes back into the horse. It's a reflection of that red sunlight. And what is also uh, very nice that uh, maybe you have a tissue or something, you can uh, light up parts if you want so you actually uh, take up the pigments of that watercolor and uh, bring the color back a little bit like I'm doing here so that's very nice to know and for the Palomino horse itself the the, the underground is is green and then over that green you can put in a little yellow ochre to get that Palomino look. But as I was saying, you can make the horse uh, any color you want. In this case, I'm sparing out the white to get those, uh, well, those, those, those light manes, the, the Palomino color. And what is also a very nice uh, tip, that is uh, once your drawing has dried, painting it's drawing painting then you can always uh, take your fine liner again and put in extra uh, sharp elements if you want detail and because this Indian girl is sitting for that sunset there will be a lot of shadow here in front on her clothes and uh, on the horse of course in the grass so that is why I uh, have taken the Stettler back again to put in those special dark elements. I think, um, well, it's, it's both nice uh, just to keep it black and white if you want, but to color it in it, well, it learns a lot, it, it tells you a lot, and you uh, learn a, a great deal of it by uh, coloring in your uh, ink drawing. So I uh, sure hope you will uh, give this a try, of course. Here I'm putting in some extra feathers. And it's those fine and nice little detail that makes your drawing fun and exciting to watch. Well, I hope you will give it a big like. Give it a try, of course. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you again in my next tutorial.